Solid state drives, or SSDs, are quickly becoming the preferred computer storage for operating systems and apps. You'll find them in the latest laptops, phones, tablets, and even consoles. Sporting both excellent performance and durability, these drives are making a real splash. But what exactly is an SSD? To understand what makes an SSD different, we need to briefly turn back the clock and look at traditional hard disk drives, or HDDs. Inside an HDD, you'll find one or more spinning disks called platters. Each platter is divided into tracks and sectors. The platters are usually made from either aluminum or glass and coated with magnetic material. Each platter surface contains billions of individual areas that each represent a single bit of data. This area can be magnetized or demagnetized to represent a 1 or a 0. As the spinning platters move at thousands of revolutions per minute, tiny read-write heads attached to swinging arms float a hair's breadth above the platter to read from or write to the drive. Hard disk drives are incredibly complicated devices with many small, precise, and fragile moving parts. It's a modern marvel that they actually work as well as they do. SSDs have more in common with semiconductor devices like CPUs and RAM than hard disk drives. SSDs and HDDs both act as storage devices, but SSDs work quite differently. Inside a typical SSD, you'll find only computer chips. There's the controller chip, which manages how and where data is stored, but the bulk of an SSD consists of flash memory chips. Modern SSDs use a type of flash memory called NAND flash memory. It's named after one of the types of logic gates that can be made in a microchip. Within NAND memory, there are cells that can hold different electrical charge levels. By measuring the charge level in a memory cell, you can tell whether it represents a 1 or a 0. To change the content of a cell, you simply alter the level of charge inside it. Easy. There are many reasons why SSDs are fast becoming the standard in storage technology. While some early teething troubles kept them out of the mainstream computer world for a while, they're now at the point where we can recommend them to anyone. Even the latest video game consoles now uses SSD technology. These are the key strengths that make an SSD so popular. SSDs are fast. The fastest mechanical hard drive globally, the Seagate Mark II Exos 2X14, can reach sustained transfer rates of 524 megabytes a second. That's almost as fast as a SATA 3 SSD. But the typical mechanical drive you'll find in computers these days can achieve somewhere between 100 megabytes a second and 250 megabytes a second at the high end of the market. Typical M.2 PCIe SSDs, like those found in mid-range laptops, offer 2.5 to 3.5 gigabytes per second. The latest M2 drives are getting close to 8 gigabytes a second, which is a sheer mind-boggling amount of data. Sequential write speeds are usually a little slower than reads. The data flies at a tremendous pace in both directions, with virtually no seek time, unlike HDDs. SSDs are about as durable as any other solid-state component, such as a CPU or RAM, but with no moving parts. Unless a power surge destroys them, they should run indefinitely, or at least as long as the computer remains useful to you, with impressive impact resistance to boot. Durability in this case doesn't refer to the phenomenon of SSD wear, which we'll cover in a little bit. Hard drives are noisy. The hum of the motor, the whoosh of the disc, the clicking sounds of the drive heads moving back and forth. That's been the background soundtrack for computer users over the decades. SSDs, in contrast, are completely silent. SSDs also take up way less room than HDDs, and they need much less power to work. In practice, that means smaller and slimmer computers, tablets, smartphones, and any other devices. Who doesn't want a thinner device? SSDs have many desirable attributes, but they're far from perfect. They're still relatively expensive. Prices have fallen precipitously over the last few years, but folks are generally still using rather small SSDs in the 256 to 512 gigabyte range. They're mostly reserved for applications and operating systems, while HDDs are used for mass storage for media files and apps that don't benefit from SSD speeds. The good news is that transistor density and manufacturing processes are likely to show an exponential trend leading towards lower cost and more significant amounts of space. For now, most budgets call for a mix of SSD and HDD storage. So, SSDs are very durable and can stand up to more punishment than HDDs, while also enjoying longer operational lives, but they suffer from wear. 
Wear happens because the SSD memory cell writing is destructive. Every time a bit is written to a memory cell, it incrementally loses its ability to hold a charge, and over time, repeated writes makes it inoperable. For a more in-depth look at SSDs, check out the article linked in the description below. See you next time.